draw the Venn diagram for these probabilities and use it to find probability of A union B if P of A is 0.7, P of B is 0.4 and P of A intersection B is 0.3. So this is a Venn diagram and this rectangle is the sample space or the universal set. Okay, so I'm writing U for universal set. So this is set A for event A and this is event B. Okay, now when we are filling up the numbers inside the Venn diagram, it's always good to start from P of A intersection B or the intersection area. Now this area, this is a common area for A and B. So this area is A intersection B. Intersection stands for common. So what is common for A and B is 0 0.3. So I'll write 0 0.3 here. And this total area, this white or pink circle, the probability of A is 0 0.7. So this, in this circle, you already have filled in 0 0.3. So this area has to have 0 0.4. Because 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. Okay, so, and the probability of B is... The, this whole area is 0 0.4, or the probability of uh, even B happening is 0 0.4. And we already know that the probability of this is 0 0.3. So this area, which is exclusive for A, sorry, B, is 0 0.1. So the question is, you want to find what is P of A union B. So here, I have done this uh, in, a previous, in previous videos. So this is the formula, P of A union B. P of, let me use a different color, P of A union B is P of A plus P of B minus P of A intersection B. Now this formula is very simple to remember, very logical. So you're adding the probability of A and the probability of B. If you're adding A and B together, you're adding this area twice. So you're taking away that area once. So that will give you the probability of A plus B. Or if you don't, in this case, you don't even know, need to remember this on, write this formula. Probability of A union B would be this plus this plus this. But let's use the formula. So probability of A is 0 0.4. Probability of B is 0. Sorry, probability of A is 0. Point. Probability of A is 0. 0.7. So it's 0. 0.7 plus uh, probability of B 0 0.4 minus 0 0.3. So this is, if you add this, this is 1.1 minus 0 0.3, which is 0 0.8. Or, in a different way, without using the formula, so probability of A union B by just looking at the diagram, probability of A union B, by just looking at the diagram, you can see that is 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, which is 0 0.8. Now, what just for uh, just to fill in the whole uh, Venn diagram, the probability of the probability of U or the universal set or the sample space is one. So this area, which is not in A and B this would be 0 0.2. Okay, so let us look at one more question. A police officer knows that the probability that a car has warrant, warrant of fitness is 0 0.72, the probability that it has current registration is 0 0.82, and the probability that it has neither is 0 0.08. What is the probability that the car chosen at random has both warrant of fitness and current registration. And now in New Zealand, there are two types of register, uh, two types of requirement for a car to run on the road. The car has to have a warranty of fitness, which is uh, done every six months. If you want to run your car on road, you have to have warranty of fitness, which is done every six months. And you need to have registration, which is generally done every year. So there are two requirements for a car to run in New Zealand. 
Uh, so let me use this color. So this is the universal set. Now this is the problem. This is the event that the car has warranty of fitness W for warranty fitness and registration current registration R for registration. So let us fill in the numbers. So what what is it saying? Uh, the probability the police officer knows the probability that a car has warranty of fitness is 0.72. So this whole area is 0.72. So I can't fill in the numbers here because this is this area plus this area. So I'm not filling in that, that number. Okay. And the probability that it has registration 0.82. So that is this area. Okay. So I'm also not filling in that number. But I can fill in this this number it says and the probability that it has neither that is neither a warranty of fitness warrant of fitness or current registration is 0 0.08 so this area which is this is the area we're seeing this is the area for the cars which has warranty of fitness and this is the area for the cars which has registration and this is the area which has warranty of fitness and registration. So this 0 0.08 will come in this area. So this is 0 0.08. Okay, so I can say the probability of uh, U is 1. The probability of the universal set is 1. So I can I say probability of W union R is probability of uh, 1 I can say like this I'm going to say this is probability of this would be 1 which is this total area minus this area okay so that is 0 0.08 so which is how much this is 0 0.08 is 8 percent so this is 100%, 1 is 100%, so this is 92%, so this is 0 0.92. So this total area is 0 0.92. So let me write the formula of P of W union R. So pro probability of W union R, which is the probability of warranty of fitness or registration, is probability of W plus probability of R minus probability of W intersection R. So what do we know? What are the numbers that we have? We know we know that probability of W warranty of fitness is 0 0.72 and probability of registration is 0 0.82. So let's fill in these numbers in this equation and we also know that probability of W union R is 0 0.92. Therefore I can say 0 0.92 is equal to 0 0.72 plus 0 0.82 minus probability of W intersection R, which is what we want to find. Therefore, I can say 0 0.92. So this is how much? This is, let me use, this is 4, 1.54. I think I'm right, yeah. So this is 4, this is 15, so 1.54 minus probability of W intersection R. So making W this the subject, so I can say probability of W intersection R is 1.54 take away 0 0.92. So let me use a calculator. Uh, so this is run menu run 1.54 take away 0 0.92 which is 0 0.62 so this is 0 0.62 so let us make sense of these numbers so let us draw the Venn diagram so what we are saying is this is 0 0.62 okay so and this is 0 point this whole area is 0 0.72 so this is 0 0.10 or 0 0.1 and this is 0 0.20 or 2. Okay, so here yeah, the question is what's the probability that the car has both warranty of fitness and current registration? So this area is 
the area for the car to have both warrant fitness and registration. So this area is the cars which has exclusive warranty of fitness. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.62. Or in other words, there are 62% probability that a car chosen at random will have both current, uh, both current registration and warranty of fitness.